What's going on everybody? It's Road Rooster coming to you from out here in uh, New Jersey. Headed down to Pennsylvania to uh, pick up this load and turn around and go back to New York. Kind of uh, been my life here the past week or so. Been stuck up here in the Northeast and you know, no offense to anybody that lives up here. But uh, not my favorite place to be. I one pays not great I mean still make a living but not what I'm wanting I, and I don't like being up here I especially don't like being stuck up here but on top of all that my fridge decided to go out this week so uh, went to go and cook something all the meat was thawed out I was able to cook that day but then everything went bad and my dumb ass you know was like oh I'll uh, let me you know give it some time to defrost while everything's still cold in the freezer and maybe I can turn it back on and it'll refreeze it never refreeze and I kept putting off cleaning it uh, that was a mistake because the packages of a turkey that I had decided that once they were thawed out they wanted to open so I had nastiness to clean up uh, anyway so I got to deal with that and did it last night truck did not smell good I'll just say you know I'll just put it that way so I got that cleaned up had to sleep with the windows rolled down and all the back windows open for a little bit but are you gonna let me over but uh yeah so I got that cleaned up got a little bit more cleaning to do but we'll get that done today I have the rest of the afternoon once I get this load picked up to go about 300 miles and wait till in the morning to go deliver to a Walmart and fingers crossed that I'll be getting out of the Northeast here soon uh, if not I'll still be here but I am putting in a request to go home at the end of this month so eventually it's got to get better right but anyways that's just a little bit of an update about what's been going on the past week or so and my delightfulness that I've gotten to deal with out here now you know I don't know if it was the bouncing around but it happened to you know it happened to me with the fridge going out whenever I went down 95 uh, going up to Connecticut for a load and that's after after that's when I noticed that it would, had went out and quit working so I don't know if I shook it to death the compressor went out or you know, I'm no refrigerator technician so I don't know exactly I have it unplugged and cleaned out now I'll give it a couple of days in case something inside was froze up or something try it again see if it comes back on but if not I flush that 250 down the commode and uh, look into getting me a truck fridge an actual truck fridge instead of a home fridge and try and figure out look online see what I can do if any of y'all have any suggestions on how to make one live longer or a better fridge for a Freightliner uh, you know 21 Freightliner I'm happy to hear it but you got to do something else so right now been eating out quite a bit uh, it's a little hard to do but I'm still eating healthy and trying to make them numbers on the scale go down you know but I will say after a few weeks of cleaner eating and watching what I put in my body eating less I do feel a lot better I feel I feel the healthiness you know it's not necessarily the best what I've been putting in my body but putting in less sure does help I have more energy I'm feeling better uh, here in the next few weeks hopefully I'll be able to go get me a GoPro so I'll be able to do a, some different type of videos on here let y'all I plan on doing some uh, driving videos let y'all see my view talk to y'all just have more vlogs and more stuff going on uh, let y'all see what's happening so you know if that's something that interest you at all and you aren't already make sure you subscribe give that thumbs up hit those notifications so you don't miss nothing 
and uh, as always, I got some plans for some videos, some things that I want to talk about, some things I've already recorded, but I got to edit together, and I'm no professional editor, and I get lazy, so it takes me a little bit longer than it should, but eventually I'll get there. Uh, got my one-year review of working and doing the lease operating and everything, which actually it's one year since I started my training. Uh, so one year out on the road is what I should say. I'm going to do a little review of my thoughts and what's going on and how things have changed, what I think about it. Spoiler alert, I still love my job. I love what I do. And this is probably the best thing I've ever done. And uh, also got some other stuff coming. And then in November, I'll have my actual one year of leasing review. Uh, but things have been pretty good so far. Like I said, I just got to edit some stuff together. I'll have some more videos out. But yeah, that's uh, what's going on now. I'm about 64 miles from Quaker Town to go pick up this load and head back to New York. Deliver this Walmart sometime tomorrow. And fingers crossed that I'm up and out the Northeast. I can do without bringing any more loads back for a while. Anyways, guys, until next time, you know what to do. Keep safe and keep trucking.